The other big thing I see is that so many teams are not giving each other feedback. People aren't learning and growing as much as they could because everybody is scared to give feedback because if I give you feedback, you might have a feeling. And I don't want you, I don't know how to be with your feelings because I don't know how to be with mine. So I'll just withhold my feedback to you. And then we don't get to learn and grow. Yeah. So, I hate feedback. I hate feedback. And, and I've done so many 360 reviews and everything. It never gets easier. What is a way to make that a energizing exercise rather than a, a, a dreaded one? Well, for one thing, I think it's really important to say, hey, how is your feedback true? Now, how is it true? What are you saying that's true? And then I can also see how it might not be true. So we're not holding feedback as it's right or wrong, or I'm right or wrong to be these certain ways. It's just, it's just a place of, huh, what do I get to learn? And how are you a gift to me by bringing this to my attention so I can learn? Mm -hmm. And maybe some of this is about you. <laughs> Uh, but doesn't matter because I'm always going to take whatever anybody gives me and just to see how is it true. And it is that trust, fear, uh, world that you step into for that. But, and I totally agree. It is. It is so much more. I guess the energizing aspect is on the other side. If only for that person to have the relief valve to voice what is probably maybe not as big of a deal like any of our catastrophes catastrophes in our life they aren't as big of a deal as we, they we make them out to be in our heads so the second we're able to talk about them out loud if for nothing else it's energizing for the five team members that are going to give you feedback to be like whoa i get to shed that and now i've said it and then obviously well, and you digest is, it this is where commitment number two comes back in because a lot of us have stories like somebody will say um i have feedback for you that you're bossy and I go, you say bossy, like that's a bad thing. Like what's wrong with bossy? So, but in our minds, we're going to make up stories. Bossy's bad. Something else is good. Um, you're too, uh, you're too sensitive. Uh, you know, as a sensitive is bad F from above a line. We're not looking at these things, any of these traits or ways of being as good or bad or right or wrong. We're looking at them like, Oh, what's valuable about that. And, it, is that, are you doing it uh, in a way that really serves yourself and others, or is there something you can learn? But we all get caught in duality. And so people get scared about feedback because I don't want to be the bad guy. I don't want to be doing it wrong. But mm -hmm. if you get out of that mindset, then everything's just qualities of being that I get to explore.